look down, look all around. Up in the air or on the ground. Come for a walk, come for a ride. There's so much to see, so come outside. We're useful in the bathroom. We're often on the floor. We come in different shapes and sizes, so some of us like painting, while others like to clean all sorts of things. What are we? Do you know? We're brushes. Hello, my dears. My sister Ede is coming round today, so I'm tidying up before she gets here. She's very fussy. Listen to that! Pippin's got her friends round. They're playing. What a mess! You need a good brushing before Edie sees you. Look, I haven't got time to brush all of you. Go on, you two. Off you go. That's enough playing for today. Pippin enjoys this. Her brush has lots of bristles. They brush away the dirt and make her hair look neat and tidy, just like your hairbrush does. There, that's better. Now, go and sit in your basket while I finish tidying up. When there's cleaning to be done, there's a way to make it fun. Sing a little song, it will help you along. This will be the cleanest house we've ever seen. Sweep, sweep, sweep the floor. Wash the teapot to keep it clean. Scrub the loo, scrub it well. This will be the cleanest house we've ever seen. Won't it, Pippin? Sweep, sweep, sweep the floor. Wash the dishes to keep them clean. Scrub the floor. It well, and this will be the cleanest house we've ever seen. <sighs> Brushes are very good at sweeping up all those little bits of dirt because the bristles are thin and quite sharp. These bristles are made from coconuts. I'll show you. This is a coconut, and these are the coconut fibres which make the bristles on the brush. I remember the day I bought this brush. It all started one morning when Pippin was getting under my feet. Oh dear, look at this old brush. I really must buy a new one. Pippin, it's time to fly. A 
And so off we went to find a new brush. On the way, we flew over the seaside and saw lots of boats. Soon we arrived at a factory where they make all sorts of brushes and brooms. Hello. I found some coconut fibres. They'd come all the way from India. They use a plastic base to hold all the fibres. That's where the fibres go, and this is the handle. This machine punches holes in the plastic, then it sticks clumps of fibres in the holes to make the bristles. They're trimmed so they're all the same length. It was exactly the kind of brush I needed. I saw a machine making brushes for dogs. These fibres are made from PVC, a sort of plastic. They didn't grow like the coconut fibres, they were made by machine. This base is made of wood. Holes are punched in the wood and the fibres are glued in the holes to make the bristles. The dog brushes have a strap to make them easier to hold. I decided to buy one for Pippin. And that's when I noticed she wasn't there. Where was she? Then I spotted her, getting up to mischief by the look of it. went out to buy one brush, but we came back with hundreds. Still, they've all been very useful. Oh, Pippin! You remind me of a story about a young boy and some brooms. They made a terrible mess. Let me see if I can remember it. Once upon a time, in an old castle, there lived a very old man who had magical powers. He had a young boy helping him. Well, he was supposed to help. 
but in fact he was very lazy. One day the old man told the boy to fill a big pot with water while he went out. The boy fetched two buckets of water and tipped them into the pot. Phew, this is hard work, he thought. There must be an easier way. Then he noticed the broom. He waved his arms at the broom and said the magic words he'd often heard the old man say. And suddenly the broom began to move. It picked up the buckets and off it went. The lazy boy settled down and went back to sleep while the broom did his work for him. Suddenly, the boy woke up. Water was lapping round his ankles. The pot was overflowing. Stop, shouted the boy. But nothing happened. He waved his arms and said some magic words. But he said the wrong words. And to his horror, the broom became two brooms. Then four. Then eight. Soon it seemed as if a hundred rooms were marching back and forth with their buckets. The water rose higher and higher. The boy was swimming for dear life when the old man returned. He quickly said the magic words. The water drained away and the brooms disappeared. And there stood the boy, dripping wet and in deep trouble. I wonder what happened to him after that. <laughs> oh, that'll be easy. to again. Pippin, just look at you.